Hello, students. How are you doing today? You are doing great. Our lesson topic for today that's Unit 12, that is communication, language focus, talking about past events. It's good. Before I proceed this class, as usual, I would like to introduce you the main objectives of why we need to learn about this language focus. Consolidate your ability to use the structure to talk about past events. That is an issue that you are talking about past events. I'm sure that everybody knows what past events means. An action which is already past completed action. I'm sure you practiced expressing your feeling, expressing ideas in the past form. So, simply to remind you that past events means can be described by different tenses. It can be past simple or simple past. It can be past continuous tense. It can be past perfect continuous tense, or it can be that is present perfect tense. So, you can describe your past events, what happened in the past using those tenses. So, you practiced starting from elementary class till now. So, now this is an issue that we are going to discuss today. You simply read it. When you talk about inventions, we often use the passive. When talking about history of invention, we may need to use a variety of past verb forms in the passive. For example, past simple, or as I have mentioned so far, past simple or simple passes, past continuous tense, past perfect tense, and also present perfect tense are possible ways of expressing or narrating about the past. Good. Let's go to do this activity. Activity 1. Put the verbs in brackets into the past tense. Let's see Shakespeare in the bracket that's live more than 400 years ago. What kind of tense or verb is possible so as to make this sentence, sentence to be soundish? Good. That's why I've already said that you do have your own experience that you have learned so far about different kinds of tenses. Shakespeare lived more than 400 years a girl. That's good. Because of what? Because of a girl. It's always that the verb becomes lived. Shakespeare lived more than 400 years a girl. Similarly, the servant not steal anything. The servant not steal anything. The same is true. This is a good example for what? Simple past persons. And then what will be? Not still is given in the bracket. And you simply put, yeah, the servant didn't what? Steal. Good. Didn't steal any thing is possible. You have to change the verb in the bracket into the right form. 
when he arrived here, it says, it's good, let's complete this one. When he arrived here, there is something. When he arrived here, his mother, if you like, cooked what? Food. Those are persons. This is sample example for persons. So in the, in the case of the first one, lived is a possible one. You are only that is D. Come again, activity two. Put the verbs in brackets into past continuous form. The instructions say that past continuous tense. So everybody knows, just simply to remind you what the form looks like that is where. Plus, for plus in the form of what is an energy. And then, I was reading a novel when she came in. You see, was, reading is possible. Good, how about second one? That's good job. It was raining lightly when we went out. Was raining is possible. Was raining. Was raining is possible. I jumped out of the train while it is still move. How about the third one? While it, ah, it should be written like this. While it was, you see? While it was still moving. While it was still moving. Let's come to the next activity. Activity 3, put the verbs in brackets into past perfect tense. But that's good. We had 
made. The past perfect tense means that is hard plus that is V3 form. I reached the stadium at five. The match was that the match had already good. That's it. The match had already started. Have you like this? Good job. They found that they had taken the wrong route. This is a possible for me. That is hard taken. You can check your way of practicing past events in such a way. Very nice. Let's go to the next activity. Activity four. Put the verbal verbs in brackets into the correct form of simple past, past perfect tense, past continuous tense, or past perfect continuous tense with the event is given below. So now, just we were trying to practice the way how we are describing events in different contexts, right? Using past tenses using past actions. So past actions help us to describe what happened in the past. So in the case of simple past tense, what will be in the case of past continuous tense, don't forget that using while and when structure is available there. When things just happened in the past time using the form of what? While and when structure are very important. You have already learned it in the previous classes. The same is true in the case of past perfect tense. When an action or when two actions happened at the same time, if you want to describe or express those actions with one sentence, the first action usually described what? By what? Past perfect tense. And then you can form your sentence or you can form your idea. Right? So, let's take for instance, I would like to give you some one sample example for it. Past perfect tense. How we are going to form past perfect tense when two actions happen at the same time. Right? For instance, we can say in this form. Good. I arrived at the train at the train station. It's one sentence. Okay? The train left its station. Look, these two actions are past actions. So while you are combining these two actions, happened in different time. So which action comes first? It's obvious that the train left its station is the first action. I arrived at the train station in the second action. So as to combine these two sentences, we can use past event in the form of what? Past perfect tense. That is, before, before, if you like, before I arrived, okay, at the train station, before I arrived at the train station, the train had left its station. Possible. The train had already left its station is also possible way. So, before is an appropriate word that we use so as to describe past events. So you can bear in mind this activity and then 
you practice with your friends, talking about past events with different contexts. And I'm sure that it is easy to complete the activity that's given on the screen in part four. Put the verbs in brackets with different tenses. They are all past tense. This is a song's context. I blank here a sound outside. So get up and look out of the window. This blank a stranger outside. I ask him what to wear. He said that he dropped the key to his room and search for it. Which one is the correct? or the appropriate past event that sits so as to describe this context. I'm sure that take time and then do it. Do it. I'm sure. Let me give you that in the first place. Okay. I heard H E A R. I heard a sound outside. So, what that? I got up and looked and looked out of the window. These, these walls, a stranger outside. I Ask it him what what he was doing very nice what he was doing he said that he dropped he dropped the key to his room and and what? Search it. it. The key that is room and search it, it. So you can take the feedback based on that. Many thanks. The time that we have for today. That is the end of our lesson. Till we meet next time. Goodbye, students.